Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how you can clean your SNS carburetor. Uh, you don't have to take it out of the bike. Uh, this video is mainly going to concentrate on uh, motorcycles that have been sitting for a while and uh, they were running fine. You come back to it six months later, you don't want to start. So uh, I'm not going to get into uh, tuning uh, jet sizes and stuff like that. I just want to show you that you don't have to take the carburetor off to clean it up and inspect it. First you need a large uh, Phillips. Do not use uh, the regular size. Use the larger one because these uh, Phillips head screws are easy to strip with the smaller one. Next we're going to remove three uh, screws, large flathead screwdriver and you're going to pick up your uh, choke lever and there is two allen head bolts right here. Next make sure your fuel uh, valve is off. Your petcock is off, and we can go ahead and disconnect our uh, fuel line. Let's use an old rag and place it under. This is always a good time to inspect your your fuel line. If it's uh, hard, it's a good idea to replace it. Next we gotta remove four flathead screws with the stubby screwdriver. One is over here in the back, one here, one here, and one right behind here. I'm gonna pull this uh, overflow hose off. I always uh, plug this uh, <coughs> fuel inlet with my finger because this carburetor is still full of fuel. Okay, and uh, my float ball is off. I just uh, dumped the fuel out. I want to point out to you there is a, a blue o-ring right here. So make sure you don't lose it. I'm going to put this aside for now. Uh, we're going to get back to it. Carefully pull this gasket off. Most of the times you can pull it off without damaging it. You can help a little bit with your uh, screwdriver to slip it off. Okay here's our gasket. This gasket is fine. It, don't, it does not have to be uh, replaced. Next we're going to take our main jet off with the, the whole thing with the tube, half inch. Our idle jet is over here. And I'm going to leave this uh, on some bikes, it, it, it'll just fall out. This one is staying up pretty good. Um, this is the push rod for your accelerator pump, but we're just going to leave that in. I just want to show you the detail of this push rod. The way it works is when you turn your throttle, this push rod goes up and down and pushes down on the diaphragm that it's in the float bowl. And uh, the reason why this one's staying up nice and nice and uh, good is because the rubber boot is in good condition, so it's it's sealing good. Uh, if your rubber boot is hardened up uh, or broken, you, you do need to replace it, but this one is fine. Next thing we're going to remove is our, uh, our choke. This is a um, spring loaded. Take a spring out and a choke. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble our, our float bowl. As you can see, it's pretty nasty inside from sitting. Uh, so first I'm going to take this uh, o-ring off, set it aside. And we have a flathead 
over here. Take that off to take the flow needle and the float off. Next we're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna remove the uh, float needle seat. This part, you're gonna need a 5 8 wrench for that. There's a little o-ring here as well. And now this is the important part is your acceleration pump. Make sure you have this on the table when you're taking these two screws out and you have it upside down just like this because there's a spring underneath so it's good idea to put some uh, pressure put your two screws aside Now on this one, because it's been sitting for a while, this this one is stuck here in the groove. But we're going to open it up and uh, expose the spring. See how dirty this is? I'm going to put that aside. And now this is something that you really have to pay attention. you got two O-rings here, two little balls, and underneath this ball is a little spring. So uh, turn it turn it around. Then I'll take my pick, and take my two O-rings off. And the little spring. Here's the spring. For cleaning all the components, I recommend this product. They sell it in auto parts stores and also in Walmart. It's less than twenty dollars uh, when you open this up there's a little tray you can dump all your parts that need to be clean in there leave it for um, half an hour and uh, you can rinse it with water and you're good to go okay, this is what the tray looks like it that it's inside our cleaner and here are all the parts we're gonna put in there basically all the internal parts so uh, this stuff is not harmful to rubber so I'm gonna put my float needle in there my uh, my float seat I'm gonna put um, this part because uh, this housing for the accelerator pump both of our jets and lastly I'm gonna put our, our float ball because it's pretty pretty nasty I'm just gonna put it in slowly let the flow ball get filled up and we'll be back in 30 minutes guys this is how everything comes clean after 30 minutes in that solution it's twenty dollars really well spent you just rinse it in water and uh, blow it with the with the air nozzle so you don't have any water left in whatever I didn't uh, put in that solution like this little spring my diaphragm that I inspected it looks fine I'm gonna use a, a carburetor cleaner I like this brand um, and wipe everything off I also like to wipe off the uh, float needle you can still see uh, after I wipe it off that there is uh, a dirt that comes off of it There is a little spring loaded pin right here. So make sure that it's not frozen and it's moving freely. And look just how clean this is compared to uh, what we had before. Um, looks like new. The next, uh, I'm going to attach this uh, tube. And I'm going to blow through all the passages. This is important one, that's my acceleration pump. I'm, I'm going to go to the other side, right there, and I want to see it spray nice and, uh, nice and strong, like so. Um, same with these passages, and uh, I'm 
Uh, the jet. Inspect the jet visually. Make sure all these holes are are clean, and of course the 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 jet itself. Same with the idle jet. There is a couple holes on holes on the side, and uh, blow through it. If you need to uh, clean the inside, uh, see the our seat is nice and clean as well. I like to use a little bit of. Uh, Carburetor cleaner on 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 here as well. So next uh, we can start putting everything back together. First, I'm gonna assemble my uh, acceleration pump. So uh, spring. Next, uh, both of the O-rings. It just makes it easier to put to put the little balls in. And next, uh, one ball second ball next there's a little groove on one side of this uh, diaphragm the other side is smooth so you want to put the groove up just center it um, next is my spring and next is this cover the cover has a groove as well so when you're putting it together just make sure everything kind of fits nicely and and you don't pinch the diaphragm next uh, I'm gonna insert my screws and tighten them up okay that looks good next I'm gonna insert uh, I'm gonna put my o-ring back on uh, on here and uh, five eighths. I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna check, make sure it's tight enough after it's back on the bike. Next, I'm gonna put this uh, flow needle uh, on like this. Hang it on like that. And lay it right down. Make sure your your pin is seated in the groove, and then we're gonna put our our screw to to secure. Next, I I check my float. This float seems to be too low, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit, right about here. Okay, next I'm going to put my uh, O-ring up here for the accelerator pump, and ready to go. The other thing I, I like to do on a bike that's been sitting for a little while, I like to wipe this, uh, this choke. This one is actually clean. But uh, still, I like to uh, wipe this piston up. This is our choke stuff, float bolt screws, gasket, and our jets. So uh, we are ready to start putting this thing back together. First, I'm going to put my choke back in. The piston first, then the spring. Next I'm going to put the jets. Again half inch. And the stubby flat head screwdriver. Inspect my uh, push rod for the accelerator pump. Next is my gasket. And finally, uh, my float bowl.
Next I'm going to put my uh, overflow back on. Before I put my fuel line I need to uh, double check Next, before I start putting the rest of it on, I like to open the fuel and make sure my bike is not flooding. If your carburetor would be flooding, the fuel would be coming from, uh, from this uh, um, overflow over here. Okay, um, nothing is leaking, so um, I'm ready to put my uh, filter back on. I'll leave the fuel open. I'm gonna hook my choke up first and pick it up. Then I can just start these. I recommend you put blue Loctite on these uh, screws that goes uh, right right into the carburetor here uh, because uh, if one of these screws would come loose it'll go right inside the carburetor and inside your engine it'll be a big mess before you know we're gonna go ahead and put blue loctite on these ones as well Don't go crazy on these bolts. You don't want to break them. Our choke goes back down. Next is going to be my air cleaner. It might be a good time for you to uh, uh, clean it and re-oil it. This one looks good. Like I said, the customer doesn't use this bike. This bike just sits. So. Um, I'm sure there's a plenty of uh, people out there that for whatever reason need to go through this because their bike was sitting and not necessarily need to be uh, rejetted or it's just cleaning. So this video it's uh, only concentrating on that. I'm not going to go through the uh, starting of it right now because I don't have any oil in it at the moment uh, but I'm sure this bike will start up and run fine um, if you want to know about the uh, initial uh, setup the way you do it you basically have three screws here idle air and gas screw mixture and the uh, accelerator pump uh, you can start the bike up first close your accelerator pump you might have to raise the idle just a hair and then you slowly turn your um, the gold air and gas screw mixture slowly turn it one way and the other and then you find the highest idle when when the bike runs smoothest the kind of the fastest almost you just turn it slowly one way the other and just by ear you find your sweetest spot when you got that you start opening the uh, acceleration pump and what you do I would start on probably uh, two turns and then you turn the throttle quick and you don't want to have any bucking if it bucks and don't don't rev up right away then open it some more uh, also while you're doing that watch your exhaust you don't want to like bunch of black smoke coming out of it uh, I would say a neighborhood of two, two and a half turns is usually good on the accelerator pump. So anyway, I uh, hope this video helped you. Uh, appreciate you uh, for watching and please subscribe. I'm going to have videos for a bunch of different um, brands and bikes and tips and repairs. So uh, again, thanks for watching.